I told him to back off. You probably won't see him again. Yeah, I'd just keep away from sugar for a while. No, it's just what I need. He's harmless, though. He's a pain in the butt, and I'm over it. I'm over everything. You'll probably get bored with you soon. You're not that interesting. <laughs> you shouldn't have been speaking to the guy at all. Yeah, or mentioning the S word. Hey? Stalker. Oh, well, that'll calm him down, won't it? Well, so I need to be straight up with him. I have been, from the beginning. I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, you weren't. You just encouraged him. Sorry, Chris. But I want to hear it. I haven't got time for this, OK? So get back to work. Cover for me. Oh, I... It wasn't a request. Sure. Is he always like that? Every now and then. I think you're being too generous, yes? Are we planning on doing anything about Ross? What's happened now? He's been looking for me again and hassling Mark and Alice. Oh, I can't technically do anything until he does something illegal. Oh, well, that's reassuring. Let's wait until he buries me in the backyard. Look, it's just one of those things. Try keeping a low profile for a while. Oh, what, a Columbo jacket and dark glasses? Give me a break. Well, for now, I'll try and sneak him through the Ambo Bay. You know, it's funny how my brain doesn't even think like that. I wouldn't know how to sneak anywhere. But then again, if you think it's best to ignore the problem and just pretend it doesn't exist, then that's your call. Again, your area of expertise. Are we still talking about Ross? What do you think? OK. If we're talking about sneaking around, you did a fair bit of that on Sarah's wedding day. Oh, come on, it doesn't even compare. Right. So, how long are you going to sulk for? A rough timeline will do? I'm not sulking. Then what do you call it? Thinking. I haven't finished yet, so don't even start nagging. Still no word from Libby, little toad. Oh, you missed a bit. Why don't you call her, Mum? It's too late over there now. I'll wake her up. Anyway, she's a smart cookie. Any company will snap her up. Oh, well again. What's yours? My stomach's killing me. I need to be seen by Dr. Valentine. When he discharged me, he said to come back in if I had any problems. Nice try, but if you don't leave right now, I will get security to escort you out. Any doctor, then. It doesn't have to be Craig. Abby, won't be long. I've just got this awful pain. I'm just worried my appendix might have burst. Well, wait there. I'll get someone to take you through. That's all right. I know the way. Got an MBA coming in. What did you do with the hand? Thanks, Mom. Ross Clarkson's heading this way. He's sick. Oh, you're right. What about Craig? Um, I'll deal with it. You call Sarah. Okay, everyone, we're on. Someone let Craig know? Yeah, I'm here. Craig, mate. Who the hell let you in? Look, I know you're busy, but if I could just. Get out of it, Ross. Yeah, stop this, sister. Look, don't come anywhere near me. Do you understand that? Wanna... You come anywhere near me wanna... again, and I'll call the cops. Get out. Call security. Have you met her as mum? I have. And? And what? Well, you know, what's she like? Is she a bit of a handful, maybe? No, she seems lovely. Why would you say that? Oh, you know, because sometimes mums can be a bit bossy and get in the way and, you know, cause a bit of friction between couples. Okay, yes, I saw Craig and Huey having a tiff and I couldn't quite figure out what the problem was, so I thought maybe it was her mum. Sarah... Hi everyone, yep, um, my name's Sarah Potts and I'm a nosy parker. Being a nosy parker is okay. Being nosy to see if there's any cracks in a relationship. I wasn't doing that. They're engaged. It's like a prerequisite. One fight a week. I think Chris and I were sitting around three or four, but then we were a special case. And we always made up. So I'm supposed to stop caring. Just like that. Cold turkey. And if you get the jitters, call me. I'll be your sponsor. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hard when... What? When he asks me to go for coffee. Well, I hope you said no. Yes, I said no. Well done. So you're getting better already? Cold turkey, you reckon? Only way. I want to see those x-rays first and page Sarah. Sure thing. Uh, just so you know, Ross was claiming appendicitis. Not that old number. Well, he was faking it. Is that patient be giving you trouble? You got pretty worked up before? Yeah, he's a regular loony tune. We don't know that, Craig. Perhaps you should have let security handle it. There wasn't time. You gave him a pretty good shove, Craig. What? Yeah, OK, things did get a bit rough. But he got in the way. And if you think I'm going to let a wacko like that anywhere near our patients, you've got another thing coming. Nevertheless... 
That was way out of line and you know it. Yeah, well, it sure beats waiting for management to deal with the situation. Well, there are protocols I have to follow, all of us do, Craig. And the last time I looked at it, assaulting annoying patients wasn't part of it. Wait. I'm really sorry. I know what I did was wrong. I need you back at the desk, pronto. I swear, it's an apology. Please, pass it on to Craig. You lied to me. I'm really sorry about that. Just give him the card. Please? Yeah, a fractured femur, right? Mm-hmm. So what's your estimate on recovery time? Pardon? Craig, where are you? You obviously haven't heard the latest. Ross Clarkson came in. What, again? Yeah, and I grabbed him and threw him out through the doors. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Good on you. I'm not going to slap my wrists like everyone else. Like who? Brenda. Who are you? Well, she has to. She's the boss. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'll talk to orthopaedics and I'll get into... married for 15 years. Is that? Who are you? I met her ex. Nice guy. Buddy's his name. I had no idea. No, oh, neither did I. I'm marrying her. Oh, well, what does it matter? You know, he's so last century, right? Of course it matters. What am I talking about? I was with him all day, you know talking up a storm and still she didn't say anything. TK didn't know, I didn't know, in the end... Um, Craig, I, I can't do this right now. No, I'm sorry, you're probably busy. Uh, no, um, I mean, I can't do this at all. If, if you've got problems with who we are, then you need to discuss them with her, do you understand? Libby, please. I know it's the middle of the night, but uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't recognise your voice. I want to know what's happening with your job, of course. Who is responsible for this? Oh. You or Claire? Hang on, uh, one of the doctors wants to talk to me. Oh, is that a personal phone call, is it? How unusual. Hi, Yvonne's supposed to be working. Bye. Now answer the question. Who delivered this to my room? You? And did you know that I had specifically asked for this guy to be blocked from the hospital? Uh, he just wanted to say sorry. You have just encouraged him to keep trying. First it's a car, then it's a present. Where does it stop, you stupid woman? What were you thinking? No, actually, are you even capable of thinking? Craig! Oh, what? She's a stupid idiot. Everyone knows it. Join us later on when a famous face from RTE's The Clinic joins Shayna and Mora in the afternoon show at 4.